Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Guys, today we have the footies Joe Gomez to check out. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. We're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, medium high work rates, three star skills, five star weak foot. Uh, we're reviewing this card because we're reviewing attackers, so it's easier for me to get the review out for defenders if I'm reviewing the attackers. Guys, a lot of the times I'm very, uh, I will say I'm very strict with the center backs because uh, I've told you guys for the large majority of this year that you really, really require S star tier center backs. Like, you know that Varane that came out? I know, I know it's very expensive when it came out during that time period for the level up card, but dude, you just, you just need it. You know, in this game, especially with like the people running around the R trigger merchants on Petr Cech and stuff like, yeah, kind of, you know. So with Gomez, we'll see if he's uh, in that reign, you know, and uh, when you play uh, FIFA as a content creator, if it's center if it's a center back that's not like S star tier and he does like some weird things from time to time, then we'll see. Right. Uh, long throw in injury prone traits, in game attributes. Uh, he has a bad pay split. That's like that's the first thing that we have to start off with for sure. The pa the pay split is horrendous you have to give him a shadow chemistry style uh especially with pace being a very huge prevalent thing in this game because if you give him the anchor guys i'm sorry to say but like even though he's a lengthy player it's <laughs> i need my center backs to be like close to 99 at this point you know what i'm saying like unless you're like a varon like look at varon's card man now we, we did the review for this card but let me just show you this absolute monstrosity of a card right so 88 acceleration 97 sprint speed shadow chemistry style but his physical stats are already in a fantastic position right so 96 99 uh, this card is going to be on a 96.99 as well, but we have to experiment with a few things. Obviously, with a unique body type that he has, a couple of variables. People make comparisons to center backs like, oh, this card is 1 million coins with this card. Like, as if cards don't have, like, their own unique things. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyways, shooting. He's got no shooting. Passing, he's got some passing stats. You know, he's got the five-star weak foot to work with because, you know, I mean, so you can actually use him as a left center back if you want to. Um, he does have 97 reactions with 91 composure, so some good stuff there. Defensive stats will be essentially perfect, because um, obviously the Im improvements are making him 99 at everything. And his physical stats are also going to be in a pretty good position too. So yeah, should be, uh, should be an interesting card for the most part to try out. Like I said, we're trying him out because uh, we're trying out some of the other attackers too, like Di Maria and Julian Alvarez. So yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. That works, that works. Good stuff, boys. Get that for the kickoff. Good job, Gomez. Gotta watch that Petr Cech, our trigger merchant, you know? them all Sterling. Sterling has lost now we're good still don't worry Sterling. A foul at most never a foul EA horrible horrible registration there Nice Gomez, need that against Czech. Those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. And he stopped them in their tracks. Why are these fouls, guys? Can you guys tell me? Why? Oh, kickoff's a doozy. I tried to, like, switch the Gomez there. I was like, not today, my friend. Lovely. Good play, good play. Have to wait for those extra passes. Did I just... 
I don't know. I I don't know. I, it looks like he shot it to his own head, honestly. But it worked. It worked out. Oh, of course. At least we get that interception. I'm just going to hold that area. Hey, he has to push something there, or else we're in trouble. Well done. Just got to block this passing lane. Nice. Good challenge there. Okay, Gomez's AI got gets to that. We got it, we got it. A little weak foot pass there. Good build up play. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. Oh, it should be mine. At least that one is. Pass it back. There you go. Nicely done. Oh, we're good. We'll defend it well. Now we're good. The command press worked all well enough there. Nicely done, Gomez. I'll take that. Paul Pogba. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. That was a little weird. Well, Second man press went to uh, pass the ball there. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Ronaldo. Thank goodness. Oh, registered my right stick switch. Goes through him, eh? When I see someone do this step over, I already know that they're they're a loser. I'm probably gonna leave this game. That's his play style, guys. Just to looking for that one run with the lengthy uh, lengthy attackers. Gotta mark that area. Marcos Acuna. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. There we go. There we go. Son. Look that quick. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. No animation there, but he gets the ball. I tried. I tried. Well, it looked like a good ball, but cut out in the end. Good challenge against uh, our trigger merchant. Mbappe. 
Well done. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. I was going to get that. I was like, yo, I've been holding this area for, like, what, three seconds there, probably? Four seconds? Let's go, we got past him there, eh? Oh, yes. Block the area. Still goes through. Sterling. Zidane on the ball. Cantavilla. Good challenge with the weak foot. Joan Cantavilla. No possibilities in the center. Terrific block. Goal, goalkeeper. Yes, let's go, Gomez. Good stuff. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Gomez card. So, uh, guys, you guys know me. Like I said, I'm very strict with the uh, center back reviews. Like, they're the ones that I'm, like, very, very lenient on a little bit, you know. Um, so, he's not an S-star tier card, right? So, center back, uh, in general, if I was playing this game, generally speaking, my back four always has to be, like, full met as much as possible. You know, the Camavingas, the Barons, and those types of guys. Uh, I would say he's, like, a tier below that, you know. Uh, working with the five-star weak foot definitely could be a really nice situation. Uh, what I will say is that, sure, you know, this card is a six foot two player, medium high, unique body type, uh, pay stats similar to Veron. Doesn't touch Veron. You know, let's just point that out there right off the bat. Uh, he doesn't touch him. Veron has always, always, for this year's game, had the base mechanics. He always had it. Okay. It was always there. Uh, his unique body type, the tackle animations that he does. If I'm not mistaken, does Veron not have dives into tackles? Or am I tripping? No dives into tackles. Uh, no, nah, it's got to be like hidden on that card or something, man. I didn't remember because like it's been a while, right? But yeah, it's it's just not on that level. It's not like a Varane does the most ridiculous animations. Uh, his defensive stuff is crazy. Uh, but Gomez is still like OK to use, you know, like he's just a, he's just a tier below that. Like if I'm going to do like uh, like it's not an S tier card. Like if I do the tier list, he's like an A star tier card pretty much. Right. Like S tier, like my center backs need to be a certain thing. You know, they got to hit that. You know, I know people are going to say, oh, but Veron's this cost. Guys, in this game, I told you for the whole year, man, has to be full meta. You'll hear me say this in multiple reviews because every time I use center backs that are not S star tier, they will sometimes do dumb things and it irritates me a little bit. You know, like there are some situations where I would hold a general position and he would do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, which doesn't make him bad. It's just for me, I'm very, very strict on center backs. I'm like the defenders. I'm very, very. The right backs in this game are not good, right? Like, I, I'm using Cancelo just because it's the review account. I don't really care that much, right? But, like, oh, when this card came out, you guys know I was all over him, dude. Like, he's amazing. And it's funny. I didn't even give him an anchor yet. Look at that. And he still destroys people for me. I didn't even give him a... Bro. Bro, he's not even a lengthy and this card was killing it for me. Wow. There's just some cards, man. They have that, like, that thing to them, you know? Guys, I'm really strict, bro. Even Ether Militao wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it, like, the, the S star tier. Like, Ether Militao is good, but he's not the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'd rather use Milinkovic Savage. No, I'm not even joking, dude. Over that Ether Militao, 100%, dude. Ether, Milinkovic Savage, I would consider, like, top, top tier. Like, pro players would use this card. 100%, bro. 100%. Um... If I were to do like a tier list, like it'd be like putting Ether Million Talent at S and then Malinkovic Savage at an S star tier. Like that's what it would be, you know? But yeah. Um, the Gomez car was still okay. Obviously, if you end up packing him, he'll still be pretty decent to use. Having the five star weak foot's a really huge variable to work with. Um, you know, with the medium high work rates, defensive stuff. Like he did uh, do a, he did do a pretty decent job. Like every time I overcommitted certain center backs, he would mark the players really well. I don't, all, all I would have to do for the most part is just run after the people body to body against them and I was good to go, right? But the main problem is when you come up against um when you come up against like the uh the petter checks and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a little bit rough in a situation like that. Um but Ether Million Talent deals with that too sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Malinkovic Savage, that's I would I would do everything in my does Malinkovic Savage have that position change? I don't remember. Uh center mid CDM, but you guys get what I'm saying. Uh yeah, just a, a tier below. Uh tier below. Ether Militao, yeah, Ether Militao range. Ether Militao is slightly better than Gomez, though, in my opinion. Slightly better. 
definitely does uh, some stuff that I like a lot, a lot more. So it'd be like it'd be like Malinkovic, Edmonton, Town, Gomez, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I would rank uh, the cards. But yeah, like every time I say this, they're like, "Oh, he thinks the card's awful." No, I'm very thing on center backs. Like, why do you think I think this card is an S star tier? Six foot eight, medium high, five, like uh, perfect pace uh, on a lengthy. Like, come on, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.